Here's a breakdown of how I tried to cheat at a game of Jenga. To start, I tied a Jenga piece to some fishing wire and then the other end to a golf club. I'd set up half a normal sized Jenga set in front of the camera with a giant set directly behind it. My brother pulled the piece of Jenga connected to the fishing wire out and then pretended to drop it on top of the set in the background. My stepdad yanked the brick out of the shot, me and my brother reacted as if it was still sitting on top. Lastly, I simply walked into the background and pulled out one of the Jenga pieces, collapsing the set. In the edit, I started by blending the two sets together. To do this, I cloned some of the bricks from the larger set and brought them down so they covered the top of the foreground Jenga set. Next, in all the gaps in the foreground Jenga set where you should be seeing grass, I cut them out. I then created a mask around a section of grass and dragged it over to the Jenga set. I dragged this layer to the bottom, meaning we can now see through all the gaps in the Jenga set. To remove the Jenga block from after when my brother dropped it, as well as the fishing wire, I simply went frame by frame using the cloning tool, erasing them out using detail from a clean section of the shop. Lastly, I masked out a brick from the Jenga set and animated it falling on top. Finally, we have this. <laughs> okay, um, there's nowhere left to go. What about going here? Oh, no!